What's up, everybody? Today, we're going to be reacting to some morons talking about diving. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back to Dive Vibe. I am Zach. I'm a technical rebreather instructor, former Army <laughs> technical rebreather instructor, and former Army medic slash CLS instructor. And today, I'm going to be using my expertise to react to top five scuba diving facts, as interpreted by morons that don't know anything about diving. Cool. So, I hate it when people talk about diving and they're not even divers. It's like you have literally no expertise. Even a basic open water diver will know more than a non, is more qualified to comment on these things than non-divers. It's, 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 it's just dumb. And as soon as, like the people that are gonna watch this, probably divers, and they're gonna watch it and be like, this is stupid, this is wrong. Anyway, haven't seen this video. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be dumb. But maybe, let's make fun of it. Let's make fun of it. Let's do that. Okay, and let's go. Watch Mojo. In the One deep of the blue sea, cheap a offenders of aquatic realities of can mean pissing me everything. off. If it gets out, they won't let me scuba. If I can't scuba, then what's this all been about? I love Creed. What I love working toward. Welcome I love to that. Watch Mojo's top five facts. <laughs> That's how this I feel. Installment. If I can't scuba, the five most interesting facts that we can learn about, been about scuba diving. Some of you may already know that scuba means self-contained underwater breathing apparatus, and a few of you may even be part of the dive Congrats. world's equivalent of the Mile High Club, the 20 Meter Club. But for those oh of you God. unfamiliar, while experienced divers fully understand the specifics of the neoprene design, not everyone realizes how a wetsuit works. Okay. Some think it's the enclosed water that actually warms the body, and sure, that helps, but it's the bubbles of nitrogen gas within the neoprene suit that keep the body warm. Nitrogen is a very poor conductor of heat, which prevents the cold seawater from drawing out all of your body heat. As long as the suit fits tightly, the enclosed water won't this flush out. This is all thus allowing stock the gas footage to keep the body warm. that I have seen on Storyblocks. Altitude diving happens at 1,000 feet above sea level. Okay, so any dive below sea level may be enough for some of you, but others need something more. And for some, that something is altitude diving, which Ooh. takes place at 300 meters or 1,000 feet above Leave sea a level. comment if you've done Before an altitude dive. dive. I've done one. The proper Actually, and the proper legal I've done too. many dives and at one altitude of the potential side. decompression sickness from the reduced atmospheric pressure. This is a danger at sea level as well, but high altitudes make it even more complicated. In fact, the U.S. Navy recommends a 12-hour wait before making the dive, and a system known as cross-corrections helps divers make the necessary calculations. So what's yeah. the most ambitious altitude dive? The best well, that place, took place just to use at your Chile's computer. Lago Licancabar in 1982, measured at approximately 19,000 feet above sea level. Woo! Number three, decompression sickness is not just for uh -oh. scuba no. divers. Divers learn what movie very early this? on that they must control the oh rate of their God. ascent or face very serious consequences. That's horrible. Decompression sickness. A that is not what the bins look like. Caused by the formation of he exploded. In tissues and bloodstream. Commonly referred to as DCS, or simply the bend, sickness. the condition is also known as caisson disease, and the term inadvertently Why arose through finding American Nemo industrialism. In the 19th century, when feats of engineering had to be performed underwater, workers toiled away in the compressed atmospheres of caissons. Unfortunately, yeah, this before is 1841, true. nobody knew decompression sickness was a thing. And in 1873, the construction of the Brooklyn Bridge the led bridge. to a sobering reminder of what people endured in the name of engineering with a recorded 110 cases of decompression sickness. Yikes. Number two, deep diving gets you turnt. I'm going to have <laughs> a DJ to play Kokomo and get this place turnt it up. It gets you turnt. So we all know what a drunk person sounds like, right? Well, in scuba diving, somebody experiencing the raptures of the deep will act the in the same bizarre manner. Do you know what I think this calls for, gentlemen? A hit of oxygen. That's air. Yeah, hey! No human is immune to the conscious effects of nitrogen narcosis which sets in at 100 feet underwater as oxygen itself becomes toxic. No one's immune to at it, but some depths, people are more tolerant. scuba divers use a breathing gas called Trimix, which combines nitrogen, Trimix. helium, and oxygen. Is that what it's this called? This is what helped a British diver. Because me and my John friends Bennett, are using Trimix. The first scuba diver to ever dive 1,000 feet deep in 2001. Granted, at that depth, getting tipsy on some N is not as big of a problem getting as... Getting tipsy on some N? 
I, okay, next dive vibe T-shirt is gonna say Number one, getting tipsy on some in. Are you are you ready for it? Reality takes on a different form. Leave a comment if you actually want that shirt, and I will make it. Wavelengths of light to different degrees. I need at least go deeper at least ten people got to tell me they want that shirt. Disappear from the visible spectrum one by one. At roughly fifteen feet, cutting yourself would mean bleeding blue blood. You want bleeding? Oh. Ow, ow. At about twenty-five feet. Your tangerine will look more like an oversized blueberry. At around 150 feet, it just you'll looks have gray. no idea which M&Ms to eat first and which to eat last, because they'll all look the same. I only eat the, the brown ones. You'll scream in frustration, which will confuse the rest of your diving party. Because I'm gonna have sound to make another video and, and, and show M&Ms at 150 feet, making it difficult to determine the source of a sound. Basically, the world under more, the sea is much more story blocks footage. Above. I don't even think the people that watch Mojo own a camera. So, what fact about scuba diving surprises you the most? And where are my 20 meter club members at? For more crunk top 10s and leaky wetsuit oh top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I feel gross. I feel gross after watching that. Alright, so let's talk about what went well. Um... Well, the things that they talked about were vaguely rooted in fact, so that went well. Um, the things that went wrong is that the person that made this is almost certainly not a diver. And if they are a diver, then they need to be retrained. Because <laughs> that was garbage. It was funny. There was that. W one thing that was that was left a little bit vague is nitrogen narcosis or inert gas narcosis so one of the things that we talk about a lot these days with diving is the fact that nitrogen is not the only thing narcotic that you're breathing when you're experiencing inert gas narcosis you oxygen is also narcotic uh, if you don't think so fight me <laughs> Just kidding. i have definitely been just as narked on nitrox at this at a you know 110 feet as i have with air at 110 feet narcosis isn't necessarily dangerous sometimes i mean i you definitely feel it like if i go to 100 feet uh, you know on air or nitrox anything other than trimix i'm gonna feel a little bit of narcosis i don't feel particularly endangered by that small amount of narcosis but going deeper i've been i've been pretty deep on air and at, at a certain point it starts to feel like whoa okay i'm a little bit uh i'm i am incompetent <laughs> this is i'm not i definitely shouldn't be down here at this point it's too deep and it you know it definitely does feel a little bit like uh like a drunkness i heard a story one time i'm assuming that this story is correct because it was from the uh, dive shop owner that I worked with for five years and he never seemed like the type to exaggerate but he was telling me about a instructor of his who shall remain nameless for his own protection who went on a dive trip to a certain Caribbean island which shall remain nameless and he had become addicted to the feeling of nitrogen narcosis I don't know if he was addicted but he definitely liked it so they had they were supposed to fly out that night and this guy finds out that their flight has been delayed and they're not going to leave till the next morning. So he's already, you know, several beers deep. He'd been drinking and he decides he's going to go on a solo dive from shore at night so he can go real deep and catch a little nitrogen narcosis buzz because he likes it so much. And once he got down there, Something happened, O-ring blew. It's been a while since I heard the story, but something happened and he ran out of air and basically ditched his weights and, and uh, went all the way up to the surface real fast. At the surface, had just enough time to yell help before he passed out. And somebody was on the beach, thank God, and rescued him and was able to, uh, they were able to get him to a chamber and he lived. And when he got back to the states and got out of the hospital the first thing he saw upon leaving the hospital was the owner of my old company getting ready to fire him <laughs> because that was a dumb move and you definitely don't want someone who's like addicted to something dangerous in diving working at your shop can't have that oh okay so 
Uh, what did we learn from this? Uh, don't talk about diving on the internet if you don't know about diving. That seems like it should be simple. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching that with me, that piece of beautiful video art. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to feed the algorithm. If you would like to support the channel, you can do that at Patreon. You buy me a beer or something, and then uh, there's also t-shirts. Very cool t-shirts in the description. Thanks so much for diving with me today, and I'll see you in the water. Hey.